Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of the Totally Tim Show. I am Totally Tim and we have some amazing news for you today. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about a brand new saw. Not just any saw. This is like the coolest 2019 wood mill saw you've ever seen in your life. And yes, it happens to be right behind me. Let's get this thing set up. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. It's going to be uh, it comes on a trailer, so we're just going to have to deal with all of that neat stuff, but I'm sure you guys how to set it up really quick. We're going to get it done right, and then we're going to saw us a little tiny piece of white willow or pine or something, but we've got something around here, so let's get started. So one of the first things we're going to do is we have these patio stones. We're going to put these patio stones underneath the landing gear on this thing so we make sure it's stable and stays stable. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we get it level. The bed being level is kind of a big deal. One of the biggest reasons why we want this bed to be as level as possible is so that our, straight, our cuts are really straight and they're very square. That's kind of a big thing. So we're gonna go to the back now and get that going. All right, we're just gonna get these last couple of blocks put in. And we'll set our jack down. Maybe. Okay, so just put down some patio blocks. And we're just gonna go ahead and get this back part level. Looks like it needs to come up quite a ways. Perfect. Okay, now that we got our deck leveled, and what we did was we looked down the length of it as well, and we wanted to just kind of eyeball and make sure that there was no dips in there. Now, if you want to, you could take a string and tie the string off to the tongue, and then stretch it all the way across, and that way you could basically get the entire deck perfectly flat. Um, I'm pretty good at doing it by eye, so it's pretty flat from now. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and take off our, these are the loading pieces for actually lifting the logs up onto the deck. So we'll go ahead and get these set up. This one. I should have left it the way it was. Okay, that's one. And then this little one in the back, I'm not sure if you can see it. Maybe we'll be able to see it better on the other one. But we pull it out. And extend this arm out. So from here, we'll take this pin out. Now we're ready to start this machine.
Time to start it. Let's climb up. Put the choke on. Thirty-seven horsepower, nine hundred and ninety-nine cc. First cuts, man, I made this micro thin layer just so you guys could see. Now it's, this is super dry. It's been sitting around for about five years, but wow, that is amazing how the veneer and the beauty of this wood, look at how beautiful this wood is. All of the color and the variations. This white willow is amazing. And these logs came out just beautiful. I can't wait to show you guys the close-up. There's, uh, there's a lot of figure in this one. Hopefully we're gonna get some good, as it's been said, crotch figure, but we're gonna see if we can find some. But this log has turned out to be quite a surprise for me. It's quite pretty. I'm going through it probably just a little bit slow, and um, so you're kind of getting that little effect, little washboard effect, but what a beautiful cut. What, what a beautiful cut little dry rod in there on the inside but so we'll move on to the next we'll flip this log over finish cutting it up all right let's give this log a quick flip we'll get her set up
I just decide to take a thick one. Because that's kind of rot, you know, I mean, it's, it's good solid wood, but it's got a lot of, got a lot of defect in it, so. So this is a piece of that wood that we had, that we were cutting up. It's got a little bit of punk wood right here. This was obviously an old limb or probably a small branch, something sticking out of the tree, but nevertheless, it's beautiful. Put some epoxy in there. This, this is so, this wood is pretty dry. We're talking less than 10% moisture content. And there it is. The beautiful colors of that, of that piece of wood. Sure is nice to have a saw that cuts this well. Look at that, look at the flecking. It's really nice. You could tell that that's obviously from the other side. These were branches, just a little punky on the inside. But like I said, these have been sitting on the ground for about five or six years. Look at that green. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. This was amazing. First time using the sawmill, never used one like it. Uh, it's a Timber King 2000, 2019 model. It's an amazing sawmill. We've got a lot more wood behind us that we're gonna be cutting up in future episodes and we're gonna be doing a lot of building and other things. So stay tuned, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you give us the thumbs up if you like us. Leave us a comment and let us know what you wanna do. But today's episode of White Willow was amazing. Can't wait to get to some pine and some, uh, well, whatever wood I can find here in Wyoming. Thanks everybody. So until the next time, don't forget, here's our pile of wood. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Be good to each other.